Getting to your Wi-Fi settings in Windows 8. And Windows 8 is designed for mainly touch, but many of us still have a computer that uses a keyboard and a mouse. Since we don't have any touch controls, there are some hot buttons to remember. In Windows 8, on the left side, very top, that picture you see, that's actually the old desktop that we're all used to. Same goes for the bottom left. If you hover your mouse there, again, if you click on this, you would wind up at the old desktop. On the very right top of the screen, if you hover your mouse there, you'll notice that the charm bar is exposed. The same happens when you go to the extreme bottom your charm bar again becomes exposed. Or the alternate method for getting to your charm bar is to use your Windows key and the C for charm. That also brings up the charm bar. In the charm bar, if you use your settings, you see the symbol for internet access and it tells me it's available but I'm not now connected clicking on it will bring up the networks that are available to me second method of getting to it is to go back over to the left hand side click on the old desktop that brings up my desktop And you'll notice that on the bottom in the system tray, there's that same symbol. It tells me I'm not connected, but connections are available. So let's go ahead and connect to one. I'm going to choose my default, which is my home network. But it also shows others that are available to me. Selecting connect automatically means anytime you're within range of that network that you selected, it will automatically connect to that network. Mine requires a password. If it's your home network, you turn on your sharing and connect to your other devices. If you're in a public Wi-Fi you would select the top option. Do not turn on sharing. Do not connect to other devices. The last thing you want to do is to expose anything to an unknown or not necessarily a safe sharing site. And as you can see, I am now connected. That's as easy as it is. No mystery in Windows 8. It just means you have to learn something a little bit different than what you've gotten used to in either XP or Windows 7. That's all there is to it. Enjoy.